I was working on a recent project lately and wanted to show you what the inside of a master clutch cylinder looks like on the Monster 796. So I'm just going to start taking this thing apart and show you all the important bits. Okay, so the first thing that came out was this little piston, this pin. This goes right up against your clutch lever, and then you have this rubber boot that keeps the, or the dust uh, boot. And then we've got another cylinder here. Let's see if I can get this out while I hold the camera. There we go. And that right there is what pushes all the fluid. So every time you press your lever, that little rubber uh, seal is what's pushing all that fluid down the line. We're talking millimeters. Doesn't take a whole lot uh, because, as you know, fluid doesn't compress, so it doesn't take a lot to get those calipers to close. And that's it. Inside of here, see if I can get my light on. There are two little holes that suck in the oil. You see them right there? See those little holes? That's what pulls the oil in and allows it to flow back into the reservoir and pushes it in out this hole and then through the banjo bolt that's connected here and then down the line all the way to your calipers. Or I, I'm sorry, in this case it was the, uh, the clutch cylinder, so this would have gone to the, to the slave clutch cylinder. And there you have it. That's what it looks like. This would go here and then sandwiched in between is the banjo bolt. Oh, and this little spring here, I forgot to mention that. So the spring goes in here. And then the seal and that's what allows your lever to bounce back whenever you you pull it up against the bar without that spring it would just stay stuck down there 